Lot Labeling The lot annotation can now be created. Features such as bearing distances, lot numbers and areas are created for each lot. The annotation settings can be stored in a lot annotation file which is loaded prior to creating the annotation. Firstly we're going to ensure that the models lots, park and road are the only models turned on. Lots, park and road are all that turned on. We then select the option design, estate lots, lot labels, lot labeling or again we can use our panel lot labels, lot labeling. We're firstly going to pick our annotation file. We select the folder icon, browse, and then just browse up to survey and you'll see a file there, training.laf. So double click and select read. This parameter file has set up all the settings for our areas, lot numbers, bearing parameters, distance parameters and a short segment parameters. So for the data we're going to select the lot type all types then we're going to select the view icon and then select view 1 and select process. If we go to our plus button we can then turn on the annotation models and select add. To ensure that the text is the correct scaling on the screen, we're going to go to our Properties button and change our settings and change our plot scale to 500 and press Enter. If you then click Finish, you'll see now that the text is at a much more readable scale. So what we can see here are the bearings, the distances, the lot numbers and the areas, and also a number indicating that there is a short line. Create the short line table in a minute, referring back to this number. Right, we can finish on this option. Editing the text is quite easy. For example, we may want to move the road text into the road reserve area. So we simply use our text toolbar. We can select edit. We can pick and accept on the text. Press V to maintain the vertex point and we're just going to move it over into the road and accept. Press escape once. The other thing you can do is in the text one is you can just use the option to move test text vertex. So again we pick and accept and you can see that the anchor point is the where the insertion point was and accept. Some authorities require the, the bearings to go around the lot in a clockwise direction. So to reverse a bearing, you simply walk right on Lot Utilities, Reverse Bearing. You then pick on the bearing, so by picking on the annotation point, and accept. And you'll see that it's then added or subtracted 180 degrees. To create the text table, we use the option Lot Utilities Short Line Arc Table. The data source will be a model and the model will be text short segments. The table will be for lines. The model for the table, we can just leave it at table. The text size will be 1 in world units. The text color we leave it's red. The text style we can change to say ISO EQ. The text position, so this is the anchor point at the top left of the table, is here. We'll add to view 1 and select process. If we zoom in then you can see the, the segment number, bearing, distance and what lot it relates to. Right, we can select finish. 